Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. 3 to 6 hours. Letting it run for 3 to 6 hours is the optimal timing to let the ozone get through the room and into the cracks and crevices that any lingering mold may hide. The mold spores in the air will be killed by the gas and the surfaces that the mold is on will be sanitized. Let's help you make your mark. Because ozone is highly reactive to living things, it does some weird stuff to our respiratory system. You should never be in the same room that you're running an ozone generator in. While these effects may not be permanent, it can cause long-lasting damage that you won't want to deal with. Make your mark, take our lead. 3 to 10 hours. Generally, the ozone generator should be running for at least 3 to 10 hours depending on the room size. For an entire home, at least 25 to 30 hours of continuous operation to kill off most pollutants. Avoid staying in the room or find a place to stay while an ozone generator is still active. Let's help you make your mark. Yes, technically ozone kills mold. Ozone will not remove the mold spores it just rendered inactive nor will it kill the mold spores that are growing deep down into building materials and household items. Mold remediation including properly removing the moldy materials and items still needs to be completed. Let's help you make your mark. 3 to 10 hours. Generally, the ozone generator should be running for at least 3 to 10 hours depending on the room size. For an entire home, at least 25 to 30 hours of continuous operation to kill off most pollutants. Take our lead. High ozone shock treatment involves using an ozone generator with a timer to create lethal levels of ozone in an enclosed odor-ridden or mold-affected room or building for a short period of time, between one and several hours. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.